If I had a temple, I'd name it body. Build a mausoleum up from the ground, cast it out of marble. Large, ornate, heavy wooden doors inscribed with carvings and unrecognizable languages. This door stained deep mahogany would be two women and three men tall. The entrance top of marble steps a hundred high up a cliff face. I wouldn't charge ticket price. I'd have limited entry. The entrance would be under three gilded arches, a hallway, a carnivorous room with long arching windows made of mosaic stained glass depicting scenes of wonder, showing blues that are view that are blue, green, and orange simultaneously. The light from the window would cascade down on any visitors. Exhibits of arts and better days would fill the room floor after floor. Exhibits with rope hanging in trusts alongside signs that say, do not touch, you may look, but do not touch. There are scars woven into the fine knotted silks that are displayed. The cultural significance of the hair, I mean the exhibit, means out of respect, do not touch. People will lean over boundaries. Breathe heavy on fragile grounds, misuse words like holy, but they will heed warnings, they will not touch. But others, others will assert their apparent rights, touch things that they should not, invade spaces that are not theirs, claim they do it out of love. But their touch is the highest form of praise. When you say no, or sometimes nothing, because the signs are already in place, they will tear down ropes, they will step over lines, they will violate whatever takes their fancy, they will pick at every irreplaceable, every priceless, every unique, they will shatter and tear and stomp, long gone are the vases and tapestries. Then they will take any shrapnel that is large enough and throw it through stained glass windows and the views, they will become clouded. These men and women, I mean boys and girls, will run fingers on the walls, even sticky bruises, claim you as home, leave destruction evident for the next visitors. They will use words like love. Tell you that's why they visited, and you may at first believe it, but their abuse of this word will ruin it for future users. These people, will make you close the doors. Let no one in, refuse entry to everyone, destroy the steps up cliff face, turn temple into tower. You will lay down on a woven prayer mat. One of the few things that survived the assault, though its meanings have been lost over centuries, you will lay your body down and pray in this temple for your body, for forgiveness, for anything. The reason that I call my body a temple is not because what I put it is holy, but because we, as people, are so good at colonizing things that aren't ours, and rape is the oldest form of colonization.